In addition to the characters mentioned above, Transmetal toys were also produced for Rhinox, Airazer, Waspinator, Pterosaur, and technically Inferno. The Scavenger toy was initially intended to be his Transmetal form, and was so in Japan and the UK. None of these appeared on the show. Scorponok, Black Arachnia, and Dinobot, though also not Transmetal in the show, were given their own Transmetal toys as Happy Meal packings from McDonald's. Clawjaw and Spittle were redecoyed and sold as transmetals in European markets with a VHS tape. Initial transmetal toys were not designed with guns, only melee weapons. Contrary to the requirements of the animated series, kinda the opposite of the situation with Bludgeon and Co's toys versus the comic book depictions. As a result, Mainframe Entertainment was forced to come up with creative solutions to give these characters ranged weapons without diminishing the newly increased toy accuracy of the show. Thus, Tarantulas as handheld buzzsaw functioned like a gun and the green markings on his shoulders were depicted as missile ports. Megatron's pincer, whip, flail, whiplash cutlass, thing, red, he's holding his damn tail, gained the ability to stiffen and fire like a cannon, and cheetah's hands, the halves of his cheetah mode head, were capable of firing energy blasts. In other visits, part two, however, he fires only one hand, even more elaborate was the functional reconceptualization of Optimus Primal's toy, whose hoverboard thruster, mace launcher was used as a laser pistol. Not content with this rather puny-looking firearm, some clever cove at mainframe noticed that his shoulder pad and mace stowing bracket thing could be flipped over his head, a function of his transformation, and improperly positioned in such a way that the long handles of his dual maces pointed outwards like gun barrels and, with the shoulder pads positioned over his outstretched fists like trigger guards, the whole device was reimagined as something resembling two machine guns mounted on a steady cam harness. The only exception to these exotic reimaginings was Rattrap, who used his tail, whip, spear as intended but also retained his pre transmetal gun, albeit with a redeco to suit his new color scheme, despite the fact that the toy did not, no doubt explained by subspace. As an odd point of comparison, the later transmetal Optimal Optimus was packaged with a rifle, which he never used in the show.